Hello, eTruth subscribers. I want to uh, deal with a question that I deal with in my creation answer book, and that is a question that has been raised many times on the Daily Bible Answer Man broadcast. The question, if we can't see God, how do we know He really exists? Skeptics so often think that Christians are irrational for believing in a God they cannot see. In reality, it is irrational to believe that that which cannot be seen doesn't exist. I mean, we all believe in black holes, electrons, the laws of logic, the force of gravity. I mean, even anti-supernaturalists believe in the gravity of gravity. But not only that, what Paul says in Romans 1 is that God's eternal power, His divine nature, can be understood through what has been made and therefore we are without excuse. In other words, God's imprimatur is on the universe in which we reside. And finally, I think we should never forget the most important of all arguments and that is Jesus Christ Himself. Jesus Christ is the manifestation of God in human flesh. He is the fullness of divinity in human flesh. And He lived and moved among us so that we could know Him and have a relationship with Him. And He demonstrated that He was God through the miraculous deeds that He did, not the least of which was that no one could convince Him of sin. The most exalted of all of his revelations was that he was God because he had the power to lay down his life and take it up again. So we can know beyond the, sh the peradventure of a doubt that God exists. I've written about that in my book, The Creation Answer Book, which you can find on the World Wide Web at equip.org. More answers on origins, again, found in The Creation Answer Book.